talking about what's the most prized possession. Picture it again. If there's one thing right now that you had to leave your home with, what would that thing be? And what does it say about you? When our next guest, Danielle Walker, lost her husband, Gary, to COVID in 2020 after 13 and a half years of marriage, she cherished a memorial bracelet in his honor. The bracelet was of such value to Danielle, it went everywhere with her. She never let it out of her sight. Take a look. Gary was an amazing person. He was funny. He was loving. And he was my best friend. He was a police officer. And he was an amazing father to our daughter, Demi. Bloomingdale Police Department participated in the police unity tour for years, get a bracelet engraved with who we're riding for. I wanted people to ask me about the bracelet, like, oh, what's on that? So then I tell them about my husband and how proud I am of him. The bracelet was like a piece of him that I can show him that I love you. I honor you every day, every day. We were on our first family trip since my husband died. We went to this water park. It's like an obstacle course on the water. There's deep sections of this lake area. I still had the bracelet on. I felt it kind of slip off and I saw it fall into the water and it just kept on falling. At that moment, my heart sunk and I just wanted to cry because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I just lost it. Danielle is here with us in our... Oh, my God. This is gonna... There you go. I know it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first of all, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Hearing you describe Gary, I think we all feel like we know him. It's, you feel it, you feel it, you feel yes. it. Um, He's my love. That was my nickname for him. He was always my love. Your love. Yeah. Um, 13 and a half years. Yeah. So much shared. Mm -hmm. And the bracelet became this, this symbol. I, I understand that because you want people to ask about him. About him. And I, I love talking about him. He was so funny and uh, generous and uh, he had such a great personality and he was such a great dad. And my daughter has so many memories with him and of us going on great adventures and traveling to every baseball and football stadium in the country. That was like one of our family <laughs> things that we would do together. So it's interesting that to try to return to that, you decided to go on this trip, the first trip since the passing yeah. of Gary. You went to the water park. Yeah. You're on the lake, and the bracelet just came off? It just... Yeah, it's, uh, it's not like a bracelet that has, like, a latch yeah. to it. You slip it on, and, like, you squeeze it tight. Right. The first time I wore it was the day I left for my 300-mile bicycle ride from New Jersey to the police memorial where my husband's name was going to be put on the wall there. And I was doing this. No matter what, I had to pedal all 300 miles. I couldn't not, not pedal. I had to do the whole thing. And um, I did. And it was such an accomplishment for me. And the emotion of doing that for him. So then when I was at the park, the water park, and I was wearing it, and it fell off. And then I tried to grab it, and then it just kept sinking and sinking. And the water is very murky, kind of, and you really can't see. I'm gonna pause see. you there when we come back. What happened to the bracelet? Yeah. The rest of the story, don't go away. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm holding in my hand a book 
that I was honored to be on the cover of in 2016. It's called A Possession Obsession, and it is a story of what the things we cherish most say about us. We are still in conversation with Danielle Walker. Her late husband, Gary, passed away in April of 2020 after they'd been married for 13 and a half years. And at the time, a comforting possession, if you will, was a bracelet that was connected to their journey to honor Gary, who was a patrolman. Um, you were telling us before the break, you'd gone to this water park, the bracelet slipped off, and it starts to just go down in the water. What did you do? What did you say? Well, we were, it's our first vacation. We were there with my daughter and her two friends, and I didn't, I wanted it to be happy and to them have fun, so I kind of kept it to myself. What? And I didn't want to ruin their fun and her celebration. I didn't want her to feel bad for me. You are that so I lost incredible. Something. Yeah. That's actually incredibly, incredible. So, you, the bracelet is missing. You continue with the I vacation. Didn't tell anyone. You didn't tell anybody. So, as I, I thought it, I would never get it back. So, I will never get one it. One year goes by, you, you don't get it, right? No. Two years. No. Nothing. Three years. <laughs> you get a call. I get a call. How many years later? Like three and a half. Wow. And the person says what? It was the Bloomingdale police chief, Danny Greenwood. Bloomingdale. Uh, where my husband was a police yeah. officer. The police chief calls me and he says, uh, Danielle, I, I just got a package in the mail. Uh -huh. And I said, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and he says... You didn't think when he said package, like... No, I was like... It didn't cross your mind? Yeah, no. Okay. I'm nowhere near crossing yeah. my mind. Okay, what could it be? So then he says, well, and then I opened it, and then, like, there's this letter with it, and then there's, like, something inside. And I said, okay. Well, it's from this guy, John, and he's a diver. And I said, and he found the bracelet? <laughs> yes, you, have it. So, let, you have it here with you. I Can we see it? Yeah. She's got the bracelet. You can have the bracelet. With you. Can I see? Are you okay? Yeah. So, you get the call. Three and a half years three later. Three and a half years later, that John the Diver found it. I know you've you've spoken with him on the phone. I, I called him like right away that night. And um, I wanted to thank him and tell him. But you did it on the phone? Yes. John, come on out here. Let's do it in person. Let's do it in person. Let's do it in Crying, I'm gonna have to issue out. What were you diving for? I was just out there doing rec recreational diving. Um, it was my day off, <laughs> so it was my opportunity just to go out and enjoy myself. Uh, I know the GM at the water park now, and uh, he lost his sunglasses there, and uh, he asked me to come out and recover them. So your day off, you kind of have recreation. Somebody asked you to look for some sunglasses. <laughs> well, prior. Prior to. But then I knew that he could give me access to the water park. I've been waiting eight years. <laughs> so, so you're bartering to get to the water park for free. So you're diving, how did, because it is a dark color, the water is murky, how did it catch your eye? Well, it never caught my eye at all. Oh. Um, I'm using a metal detector. Oh. And um, I'm just feeling and, and just going through it. And then, so the metal detector says that there's something there. Correct. You think, what, you're gonna pull up some sunglasses? Or Whatever. you have no idea. Whatever it you is. You reach down, you Target. pull it up, 
and probably about a foot of mud oh. I put it out of. A foot, oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you find this thing, you take it home, you start to, because it's got mud, it's yucky and everything, and then the words start to show from this bracelet. Yes. I did. What went through your mind? Well, it sat on my dresser for about a week. Wow. And something just kept on, you know, niching at me. And I, and I sat down in front of my computer. I said, all right, Gary, let's find out who you are. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> Do you understand that line alone? Gary, let's find out who you are. Yeah. <laughs> and it led you to discovering who he was. Thankfully, the, the police department was on there identifying information. Uh, yeah. When you got the call from Danielle to say thank you, yeah. I can already tell you're a sensitive guy. I can see that. <laughs> what did you think? Done my deed. Yes. I feel like um, it was like the hand of God, like, leading him to this. Well, like, the conditions that you found it in, that you couldn't see, that you had to reach down. It was unbelievable. Three and a half years later, that... You'll have to reach your hand into the darkness to bring another's into the light. Oh. Yeah. miraculous story and it is the very definition of this show what are the things that are important and you reunited this beautiful family with a symbol of love as you said yeah. your love yeah thank you so much you're I, I, you might be one of my favorite people on planet right now give it up for john the Don.